Due to the graphic nature and suggestive themes of this game, it is not intended for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you ready for a game that is so out there? Probably one of the strangest games you have ever seen in your entire life. Are you ready for sheep and love and romance and comedy and sheep and love and sex and romance and puzzles and sheep and all kinds of stuff? We have come to the right place. This is one of the weirdest games you have ever seen in your entire life, but damn, this game is so much fun. This is... A game that mixes just so much stuff together it is insane. I love this game. I played this game several times. And if you uh, if you don't know what, if you don't know anything about this game, you're gonna be in for a treat. This is Let's Play Catherine, one of the best Atlas. Or one of, a game made by Atlas who's made Persona and all that kind of stuff. But when we get started on here, we got the different options here. We got the Golden, Golden Theater, Babel Coliseum. We're gonna start with. All right, I'm gonna make sure on a couple of things here. Alright, we're going to start on Golden Globe, we're going to start a new game, we'll play it on Normal. Is this okay? Is this mode for experienced players? Yes. Yes, <laughs> the dude's not lying when he says this is a strange tale of Catherine. And all these little things there uh, have like, these really cool little things like a Shakespeare quote and all kind of stuff, but... Are you ready for the, possibly one of the strangest games you've ever seen in your entire life? Yeah. This game is so much fun though, and it's actually a pretty challenging game to boot. Nice little animated open cutscene here. And don't know what the hell is all with all of this, but we'll find out as the game goes along. We got TV set, all kinds of strange stuff. But. You haven't seen half of this yet. And apparently you're on this little TV show called The Golden Playhouse. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here? Night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story. Dude, what is up with your fro hair? A lovely story, eh? Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Hello! Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus. Trish. Midnight Venus, huh? Hello. I hear all kinds of scary rumors. They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up Oh, the famous fallen dream. You die in real life. I haven't heard that one before though, but Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic. Unconventional is maybe a uh, light warm for it. Has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. Okay. He's an earnest and kind Or so you think. Um, you know, he's basically. We begin to see him have terrifying... Oh, he's actually a pretty nice guy. He's just... You'll see how the game goes along. Sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Okay. Mm, what a playboy, huh? Maybe. Well, I guess... Will he be able to overcome all the blocks... I like how they have blocks in real life. You'll see what this game's all about. Game playing about. Depends on you. In just a minute. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtain. I just can't get over your fro hair. And we won't see her again until the very end of the game. Well, it says, yeah, enjoy to, uh, until we meet again. You won't see her until the very end of the game, so. Hi, right, Vincent. So this is Vincent Brooks, our main character, and this is, uh, who is this? Tap, tap, tap. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of it. Hello. She's kind of a cutie, though. Are you even listening? Uh, if you did, if the voice of uh, Vincent sounds familiar, very, very famous voice actor, Troy Bro Sorry. Troy Baker, I mean. Yeah, had to work early this morning. The voice of Snow from Final Fantasy XIII. Voice of Yuri from Tales of Symphony, uh, Vesperia. You got a little funky little beat here. Atlas presents Catherine. Yeah, this is a very, very underrated cat uh, Atlas game. Most people, when they think of Atlas, they think of Persona, or Shin Megami Tensei, or anything like that. 
And this is all the main character. Uh, uh, all the uh, characters. Uh, you know, meet throughout the game. Their names and stuff. Erica Anderson. All these characters you'll meet before long. Like, yeah, just boss. All these characters you will meet before the game goes along and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, but most people think of Atlas, they think, you know, Persona, Shin Megami Tensei, and all kind of stuff. Many people may, uh, perhaps have not heard this game before. I mean, some, a, lot, a lot of people have. In fact, I've learned about this game from actually Alpha Omega Sin. I picked it up when he mentioned it, and I loved the hell out of the game. I can't go, I can't, you can't go wrong with this game. But, uh... But, uh, but this game is still a little underrated. Not too many people know about this game, but I really freaking love this game. You can't go wrong with this game. If you like a challenge, if you like puzzles and you like actually challenge and like a weird story and just everything just thrown at you at once, this is a game for you. And why does Vincent now have only in his boxes holding a pillow and have sheep, sheep horns? What in the world is going on here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, the bulk of the gameplay. You'll find out here in just a second. If you look below you, so you notice that the walkway is starting to crumble beneath them. Stage 1, the Underground Cemetery. Alright. Yeah, that's what we like to know. Yeah, remember keep that in mind. Remember they said that if they if you fall in, in a dream, you die in real life. Keep that in mind. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I don't think they would be lying to you about this. The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional path to move and climb. Yep. The object is is to um, get to the top of the uh, the the stage. Yep. How am I supposed to move these things? They're not actually that hard. Press the A you, you're basically going to grab the block and just move it, uh, hit the directional pad to move the block into which direction you want. So I want to move it to the right right there so I can climb right there. So we're just going to blow and move it one to the right so we can climb up and move further up. But yeah, the object is, is to make it to the top. Yeah, basically they give you extra lives. And you can do more than one uh, block at a time, too. Just as long as they're right next to each other. Now here, we're going to have to move the block out. Yeah, you can pull blocks out, too, so we can continue. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Yeah, really think about what you... Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block. Which I just showed y'all, actually. Like I said, just basically pull the block out and you can make some uh, footing. And now here we got a little bit of gold, which gold will come in later. Okay. Yeah, keep that in mind. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it will, the edges grow bluish white. Yeah, as long as they're cut, touching by the edges right there, they will not right, fall. And if, 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 in fact, we have to put that to the test right here if you want to get that gold right there. So we'll do that. You notice that it, it, there's nothing underneath it, but it's touching at the edge right there on the side. It won't, it won't fall as long as it's connected to the edge. Now, here's a little bit more of an interesting... ...scenario. Got to push that over there so we can... Yes, we do. Gravity don't exist in dreams. Well, if you look at the top two, there's your points. If for every step you take without stopping, you get bonus points too. And that that retries how many lives you got left. Seven lives, so. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Use the edges to. 
So yeah, we just grab that goal right there, and then we're going to actually here we need to pull out two blocks. Now you hear that bell? That signals the five at the end of the level. That's our goal to get to the door. Now these color blocks. Yeah, like I said, the bell ringing is the exit. So. So, yeah, these, these blocks, those color blocks, can't move. So here, notice that uh, the that was over at the end, we just need to push that block to the right. Push that block right there. We can get that gold. And kind of make like a little makeshift stairway. Just pushing all the blocks to the left, and this gets us to the door. And that's the end of the very first level. Yes, you can. But what is this place? It's kind of weird. The light, it burns! Oh my god, what was that? What in the world is that? You will find out about that. But yeah, that's basically the game. But trust me, some of the puzzles get really, 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 really hard and tricky. As you get further in the game, so. These are just tutorials. You get used to it, then they're going to slap you in your face as you get further later. And we get a silver prize for getting 12,000 gold. I mean, 12,000 points. It's kind of hard to get gold unless you know what you're doing, so. And apparently it was a dream. Guys, Vincent's waking up. And this is the first day Vincent's room. It's 8, 10 in the morning. But that's a weird dream. And what the hell is that place? And who the fuck was talking to us? Yeah, you can say that again. Uh, what's wrong, Vincent? Looks like my bed. No sheets on it or anything. Uh, what are you doing, Vincent? Don't tell me you pe peed on the bed. Okay, good. That would be kind of sad for a 32-year-old guy to pee on the bed. Hello. Hello. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. That must be his work calling. Really? No, no, I'm just uh, just a little under the weather. Real men wear pink no, shirts. No, it's okay. I'll and right there. boxers yeah. with pink um, polka sorry. dots on them. Vincent really likes pink. Kind of weird, but whatever. So, yeah. That's basically the game. We go through a couple of levels. And then we... Oh, so he's hit, apparently Vincent and this girl again. Hello. So are you getting anything extra for this? For what? It must be uh, Vincent's like fiance or girlfriend or something. Not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything. That's sad. You must be working a lot more. Mm. <laughs> Even the cup's pink! Here, two sugars. He really likes that color pink. Oh, and her name is Catherine with a K. Keep that in mind. You mean like where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die, you're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Psychopath. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. Oh, buggy. What's that supposed to mean? I want that cake. Hey. Oh, so it is, it, she is his girlfriend. Oh, Vincent. 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 Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... She wants to change. Sometimes easy's best, right? And who knows what'll happen in the future. True. I suppose. But sometimes you gotta well, be a little risky, Vincent. Especially at your age. Because I'm getting close. I mean, I'm not 32 yet, but... Ugh! Ugh! What was that? Yeah. They mix horror and all kinds of stuff in this game. Trust me, this game is going to get even weirder. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths. 
to be exclusively involving young men. Causes young men. Keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. And this is going to be a bulk of our game too, like our bit, uh, one of our big hangout spots. Like basically, the aim is you do a few levels. Storyline advances. We do stuff here at this uh, bar called the Stray Sheep. But the friends here. This is uh, Johnny, Tobias, and Orlando. That's Tobias right there, or Toby. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. The one right next to Toby smoking the cigarette is Orlando. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Alright, so they're not engaged yet. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? And Johnny's not there. Kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. But yeah, 32 years old ain't that young. I mean, that old yet? I mean, I'm getting to that age. I'll be 30 at the end of this year, so a couple years I'll be at 32. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. But ah, uh, come on. If a man says he's comfortable where he are and a woman's not, that, uh, that's not a good sign. Yeah. She wants to get married, like, now. She's not getting any younger. And Vincent being the comfortable, laid-back guy that he is. Yeah, that doesn't usually spell very good. Not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soul? Then you'll never get married, huh? get married. What? All right. Sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? Paul? Oh, he must be one of those guys that got killed. Because apparently there's like these strings of mysterious deaths that are happening. Yeah. And they're sleeping now only on targeting young men. He looked healthy. It's a complete Keep that in mind, though. Keep that in mind. That's going to be a major, major plot point as this game goes along. Vincent? Yeah, so it was him that just died. That's weird. Holy shit, no way. Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow. Too. Don't say that. Don't say that. Man, I hate the news. And we still haven't met Johnny yet. Johnny still hasn't came. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning. I pissed the bed. So he did piss the bed. 32-year-old guy pissing the bed. Yeah, scary is the understatement. Uh, how old are you? Thirty-two. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear. No, you don't, Toby. Shut up. I was really fucking scared. All right. Yeah, uh, that is a scary dream. But I, don't, I don't know. That could be a scary dream too. But all you're doing is just pushing blocks around him. But I guess the scary part is if you die, you're dead. If you die in the dream, you die in real life. This episode can go a little bit longer because it's an introductory episode, so. Sorry, I gotta be in early tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Take care, Vince. See you later. So we never actually meet Johnny this episode. Or here. This time. Alright, guys. Do 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 so yeah, I mean, this is basically the game. You go through a bunch of puzzles, little sequences. Then we have a storyline, then we do stuff here at the Stray Sheep. Then we repeat the process over and over and over again throughout the game, but the story gets a lot crazier. Then we got a text message here. First day, Stray Sheep. From your phone, you can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. So we'll check out this text message real quick, and then we'll probably save and call it a video. So let's see. We got four new text messages. It says you've done it. In recognition for earning the gold prize above normal difficulty. Your friends in the brain for the face for you. You can now take on the alpha stage of Babel. That's for me beating the game earlier. When you spend time in the stray sheep, you receive text messages on the phone. You can even reply to some of the messages. Depending on how you reply, Vincent's feelings and those of the person he is writing to may change. And... When you press the confirm button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel button to erase the last line, and then press the confirm button to again to write a different phrase in its phrase. Choose the words you want to reply with, and be honest with your choices. So our first official text message is from Catherine, with a K. 
Like I said before, I was having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Most of them are already married, and most of them, half, most half of them have kids. They're all, they're all showing off pictures to their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfortable zone, too. We can either be very nice to Catherine or be a dick to Catherine. This time, I'm going to be nice to her. Does it bother you? Eh, let's see what else it has. You're overthinking it? Sorry, can't think right now. All right, so, yeah, does it bother you? Okay. I worry about it, too, sometimes, or we should work our own pace, or is this some kind of test? I worry about it, too, sometimes. Maybe we should talk about this. We don't need to be constantly comparing ourselves to others, or maybe we should talk about this. Well, maybe we should talk about this. Good night, or drive home safe. Let's do good night. And let's send this message. And, I, and notice the meter pops up to the blue that's toward more of the Catherine side. You haven't met the other character yet. Uh, if you're nice to her, it goes in the blue, uh, in the blue part of the radar gauge. If you're mean to her, it goes more toward the red part. Or there's the other parts to it too. We'll figure that out as time goes along. But we're going to save it here, guys, and come back. We're going to uh, explore. Uh, as you see, I've done a couple of save t uh, test runs and stuff. We're going to explore a little bit on the stray sheep and then continue the story and <coughs> see what the hell is going on. Do you have a good day? <coughs> I will see you all next time on Let's Play. Catherine, this is DKS3 of the Crazy Gamer, signing out.